Um, but yes. I'm so scared. Now the one thing I hate more than anything to see, Zamani. It's wasted potential. Last I looked in your eyes, things were progressing a certain way. Since then, I've, wearily enough, had to keep at least an eye on everything that has happened. Not pulling back, so to speak. And Mitch, mostly to my dismay, it has been... Perhaps passing more information of your involvement with me than any information gained for me. I'm not cruel or vindictive. However, I do hold you to a certain level of expectation and professionality for what I gave you. It's not all bad. As there was one saving grace for why you're keeping your eyes today. A meddlesome deity trying to reclaim something that she so fairly gave away. If not for that information, this conversation would be different. So we must ask ourselves how we move forward from this current relationship, Zamani. You have to ask yourself what what you value. Your revenge has been stripped from you, taken from you, as of right now. I've still enabled you with the possibility of claiming it back. But that will be up to you. So I ask you again, with this second chance at life, what do you intend to do with it? Honestly, I don't... Look at me when you speak to me. Yes, sir. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Like, yes, I want revenge on Sarah and the petals and everything that has happened at this point. Yes, I, I do want that. But I also understand that my life is not my own. So I don't know how much I it is okay to want. So I mostly resign myself to less rather than more. And I'm fine with that. Because like you said, I wouldn't be here without our pact. You're not wrong, you wouldn't be here without our pact, but... Such a low vision of oneself does not... does not look good for my warlocks to have such self-doubt, such a low self-worth. It shines poorly back on me. I gave you a chance to live life to the best and get what you wanted out of it. And I expect nothing less. I'm not like some of the other regions who take souls willy-nilly for the sake of forming an army to push through the regions at a barbaric pace. I am nothing if not the father of schemes. You should take more pride in what you've managed to accomplish on your own. More importantly, what you can accomplish with this union in our pact. As I said, I hate to see wasted potential. And unfortunately, that is a lot of what I'm seeing right now. So I see you destined for more greatness, more capability. The eyes I gifted you the tongue that shall let me say my peace next time the goddess reveals. I give you this first mission of many. So far it seems Celelia, the mad goddess, seems to try and visit Anna in her sleep. I will say my peace next time. You will be there. And we will see what comes of it. Secondly, as a reward for this all has come so far, I've noticed your group has been specifically 
one in your grip you have managed to ally yourself with a little more. And with little information I have heard so far, my knowledge is limited, however. The Dying God, interesting, is in shards. I did not know this. But luckily for you, I do know the location of Inish Hale. So I will give you this in exchange. I rescind that statement. I am giving you this, and you will. Not on the first shard you find, but the second. Lay your hands upon it and transport a portion of its energy to me, and you will not let them know of this. But, all to their knowledge, the Decaying Lord has befitted them with a boon of knowledge as a reward for your servitude. As he reaches a long finger and just presses it to your forehead, and you just see flashing, flashing images of the far northeastern section of uh, Zarsan, the country which Ojakir resides in. You see a tower amidst snow and ruin. You know the location of Inishale. When you say you want me to dream of it, do you mean for my own? What do I want for me? Not my girl. I want you to want for yourself to begin with. I don't want you to resign yourself to a life of servitude, for on your death you will have an eternity of it. It is on our contract that I will not take your soul until no needed be or when it expires to my realm. But we have a symbiotic relationship right now. We're in exchange for the eyes, the tongue to speak to this realm, your thoughts. You gain my blessing in return. I want for you to have the best. I don't hold sinister notion towards you. But as I said, if I see wasted potential, the strain and loan that it puts on my arcane capabilities to give you such blessings, if I do not see apt usage and return on my investment, I will have to pull the investment, leaving you yeah. blinded, voiceless. Don't make me a cruel man's money. I don't like I to be cruel. Okay then. I want to turn Sorok on its head. You will have the power to do so someday. Keep working, keep getting stronger. Battles, Sorok. Sara, they'll all be yours. Just fulfill what you want for yourself. And hold yourself to a higher standard than you currently do. Yes, sir. Don't let... No. It won't be on you. I'll be watching. We won't. But Sulelio lay a hand on my phoenix. Again. 